What's up everyone? Welcome to another video. In this video, I'll show you the results of a test using Coraseal Rust Converter in an application on a vehicle frame. I ran it under my vehicle through three seasons, over seven months, and I will show you the results. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe for more how-to and review videos. Now, let's get started. Coraseal is advertised as converting rust, iron oxide, into a stable substance, magnetite and also priming the surface with a high quality latex metal primer at the same time. The specific application for this video is a vehicle frame. To simulate using this product on a rusty vehicle frame, I coated a rusty steel bar with Cora Seal to convert the rust, then top coated it with automotive paint, and ran it underneath my vehicle for seven months. So here is a rusty steel bar. It has some pretty uniform surface rust. I have wiped it down with a clean rag to remove the loose rust, and per the instructions, no sandblasting is required. Don't remove rust, convert rust. I applied Coraseal with a brush and let it dry indoors, where the temperature is controlled to roughly 70 degrees Fahrenheit. The instructions specify to apply the Coraseal between 45 and 100 degrees Fahrenheit, but it is well below 45 degrees outside, way too cold, which is why we're using the steel bar for the test, and not the actual vehicle frame. The surface is turning black, which, per the instructions, means the conversion is successful. Brown would indicate a chemical contamination and require removing the core seal and restarting. I let it dry for two days. The instructions specify to cure for 24 hours and to apply a top coat within 30 days. So, two days meets the requirements. The surface now has a black finish and the rust is advertised to have been converted. Next, I applied two coats of automotive clear coat spray paint to half of the bar and left the other half with uncoated Cora Seal. The desire with the clear paint was to see what happens underneath the paint. Will the rust remain neutralized and black or will the rust start to regrow underneath the paint? I want to know if Cora Seal fully and permanently converts the rust underneath the required top coat of protective paint. I was looking forward to finding out. And the other half left unpainted is to see how Cora Seal holds up on its own under natural conditions and how it compares to being painted. Looking good. With the paint cured several days later, I found a location under my vehicle to mount the steel bar. With the use of several zip ties, it's more than secure. I let it roll for seven months, December through July a couple of cold snowy winter months, a rainy spring month, and some hot summer months, exposing the material to temperatures and humidity cycles that a vehicle frame would experience. Now let's remove it. Checking in seven months later, it's definitely not nice and shiny anymore. Using the good old scissors, let's cut it loose. Oh yeah. Looking at the steel bar, the painted half looks better than the unpainted half overall. There is a black patch on the painted half that has held up pretty well, but there's also some rust. The unpainted half also has some black that kind of held up, but it has mostly accumulated rust. The big question is if the core seal held up under the paint, or if rust grew under the paint. Unfortunately, the results are not straightforward, but they are definitely worth investigating. The clear paint has definitely worn, but it is good that there is an unpainted half to compare to. Having this comparison, I can detect the sheen of areas of clear paint that are still present on the once painted half. There are a couple of spots where it is unmistakable that the clear coat is gone, and the rust is present. However, I can see a remaining sheen of clear coat over large areas that do have rust beneath. It is my personal observation and opinion that rust did form underneath the clear coat. With that said, the clear coat has definitely been compromised and is completely gone in a couple places. So, unfortunately, this is not undisputable. I will plan to seal the Cora seal with clear epoxy in a future video, which will hold up, and we can see how Cora seal holds up under the protective epoxy coating. These tests take time, so it'll probably be a year before I post the results. So that was the experiment, and those were the results. I applied Cora Seal per the instructions, then two coats of automotive spray paint, 
and ran it through winter, spring, and summer over a period of seven months on my vehicle frame. And those were the results. It is what it is. This specific product combination is not ideal for long-term vehicle frame restoration. You may experience more or less success with different surface preparation or different paint. Either way, you have seen the results of this specific test, and hopefully you can extract some helpful information. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe for more how-to and review videos. Drop any comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.